Oh god, another tier list. Ah, oh, shit. What do you want the tier list on? Kanto Pokemon edibleness? Yo, that's actually a sick idea. Oh, I'm all right with that. Do you guys want to eat some Pokemon with me? This is just the original 151. I've actually thought about this, about uh, eating Pokemon, to be fair. Because we've had conversations about this with, like, Tauros and shit. Your mum is a Kanto Pokemon? Wow, Crow, wow. If anything, my mum's a Hoenn Pokemon. That doesn't sound... That sounds awful in my head. I meant that Twiggy or Scepter was her favourite Pokemon, but then... Y'all are going to misconstrue the word Hoenn, and I'm just going to drink my coffee. Uh, first of all, Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is literally just a heckin' little... a little weed. Um, a little onion. So I think you're, I think you're going in like A tier. But I can imagine just like deep frying Bulbasaur and just having onions on, like on a burger or something. I'm down for that. Uh, Ivysaur I think is a little bit too, I think it goes further down, like the further in the evolution you get. Cause like, you look edible, slightly less edible, but I try, probably not edible, but you are a frog and people eat frogs. Is there anyone here I would like really just absolutely devour? I need to figure out what the benchmark for S is. Oh, execute, 100%. Execute goes in, uh, goes in S tier. You're literally eggs. Venusaur is based on a plant that just fucking stinks. True, but it's also a frog and like people eat frogs. Like it's a plant and a frog, both edible things. Like it can't, D is unedible basically. D is unedible, S is like something I'd eat on the daily. You know what I mean? That's kind of what we're going for here. Uh, Charmander, I've uh, honestly fling grilled lizard. I mean, I'd, uh, I'd probably try it. I'd try it more than Ivysaur, realistically. Realistically. I don't think I, I... I think I think Bulbasaur looks yummier than Charmander. And I think in that same vein, I think I'd go further down the list. Yeah, because I think Blastoise is the most edible of the three Kanto starters. Because tur turtle soup is apparently really good. I tried turtle soup over... I tried turtle soup, but I wouldn't... I'd have the onion first. Would I try turtle over lizard? Would I try turtle soup over flame grilled lizard? Probably not. Probably not, but I would try it over these two. For me, I can't eat anything bug related. I... 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 I get squeamish with bugs. Consider most bugs to go in D tier. I wouldn't be even be able to try that. That would just like be terrifying to me. I think we can also go off of produce of Pokemon, like Beedrill Honey over Beedrill itself, you reckon? Yeah, I'll allow it. I'll allow it, sure. Can I be loose with it and say Butterfree makes butter? That's too loose saying Butterfree makes butter? Okay. I think it's their actual produce, Miltank, Milk, Beedrill Honey, Petal, Petal, Petals, etc. Okay, well I would go, um, I'd put we Weedle's a worm and Cocoon as a cocoon. I would not eat either of those, like, out in the wild. If Beedrill makes honey, I like honey. I'd put it middle B. Uh, the three Kanto birds. Um, Pidgeot looks more plump than the other birds. But this is based. Oh, this is also based off a pigeon. Would I eat a pigeon? I think I could. I think I could if it was prepared. I think um, I'd, I'd be less inclined to eat these two. The like wild chickens. Well, Pidgey is a is a pigeon. <laughs> That's what. Oh no, I guess Pidove is a... No, that's a dove. Is Pidgey a pigeon? Um, I'd 100% eat a rat, Kate. I gotta admit. Um, I know, I realise I've just been um and ah about, like, whether or not I'd eat a pigeon, but I'd eat a rat. Um, I'd eat the chonky rat more than the thin rat, though. i put this rat over here. Spearow just seems like a really bony bird, and I'd just be like, nah. I don't like this evolution line. I think they'd suck. I've never tried pigeon. In all honesty, I think it. I think it would be interesting to try. Like, I'm not that fussy of an eater. I th I think the fussiest I am is that I won't eat bugs. I gotta admit, I have heard good things about snake. I have heard good things about snake. I feel like I would eat both of these. You know what I mean? I feel like I would try it. I'd be very, very curious. Is anyone here actually eating snake? I don't want anyone any snake. Snake eater. I think I put rat too high. I think I think Beedrill should go in A because it, it's honey. If Beedrill makes honey, then sure. If it doesn't, then no. And I think I put a rat next to the bird. Because I'd rather eat lizard than rat. I'd rather have sa like sour onion. This is what I think sour onion personified is. I'd rather have turtle. I'd rather have flame grilled lizard. I think I put rat too high. Fun fact, doves are just a subspecies of pigeons. Like how all thumbs are fingers, but not all thing fingers are thumbs. Oh god, that's a tongue twister. You're dead. No. Your friends are dead. Your no. family's dead. Oh. Your fucking pets are being skinned alive. Uh. Your mom's a fucking whore. No. You suck at life. Uh. The whole world hates you. You're going to hell. Okay. With it. Game over. I'm sorry, I'm just trying my best. I've eaten iguana, not snakes. Was it any good? Pikachu, huh? I feel like eating a spicy mouse is fine. 
Right? I'd like it more than... I'd like it more than these. You're a chunkier version of Pikachu, so you go higher up. I'd still rather eat lizard than mouse. I think anything anything mouse related. It's like bottom end of B. Sand shrew. What animal is it based off of? Like a dirt shrew, right? Gonna, yeah, like not my favorite thing, but I've eaten a lot worse. Fair dues, fair dues. God, I hate this depiction of gloom. Like, what is this? Who's doing it, chat? Who's doing it? Who's sticking their dick in a gloom? Uh, I think if you're chunky, you get higher on the list. I'd eat a shrew, but I think a shrew would be would be around out here. I think sand slash is a little bit too spiky. I think at that point, like it would just hurt. Um, so I think I'd probably put it bottom C tier. I'd still try it over these, but not by much. Now with these lot, I feel like I would the only one I would eat is probably Nido Queen and Nido Ran, right? Because I think they've got the most chunk to them. Like having a Nido Ran thigh. I feel like would be better than having like any of this. Like these two look too squishy and like Nido Queen just looks edible. Am I wrong? The rest of these though, I think you go, I think, I think I'd eat you before the rat. I think I'd eat you before the rat, but I think I'd eat you before the other Nido Ram. I think you go into C tier because again, you're too, anything spiky, I just don't like, like the look of. And I think Nido King would have to go bottom C. Actually, I think Nido King might just be D tier. I'd have it before Caterpie though. Um, I definitely eat Cleffa, that's not Cleffa, Clefable and Clefairy. I think they'd both go into A tier. Actually, I think they'd both go into top of B. I, I'm trying to imagine what the moon tastes like. I put all the stone EVs really, uh, stone EVOs really low because I wouldn't want to waste an EVO stone just to eat something. In the Pokemon world, do, uh, are EVO, uh, evolution stones reusable? If they're reusable, then sure. Uh, oh, Firefox? Would I eat a fox? No. I mean, it's edible. It's edible, I guess. But I wouldn't feel good about doing it. That turtle spicy onion lizard. I guess I'd put you here. I'd do the same with your Evo. Yeah, a lot of the Evos are going to be paired together. Because a lot of them just like have the same look. Ooh, Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff. I think I'm going to put them in the same bracket as Clefairy and Clefable. Out of all of these, I think Wigglytuff looks the most edible. And I think Clefable right after that. I mean, I'm just going down in size, to be perfectly honest. I feel like these 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 four would be quite edible. I mean, you're literally... Actually, you're literally just a face, aren't you? That's actually freaked me out a little bit. That's actually, that's actually low-key freaked me out a bit. I'd be eating someone's skull. Yeah, I'm not... Nah, I'm good. <laughs> That's <laughs> that made me. <laughs> that made that actually made me somewhat like her. Huh. <laughs> it was not. That was not. That was not fun for me at all. Uh, but uh, we've already been through COVID. I don't want to go through COVID again. Um, go away. Would never eat bat. I would eat an oddish. Hundred percent. You're just a garden variety plant. I'd probably put you here. Yeah. I'd actually put these two in. Yeah, because if I if I if I have an I if I have an idea what they'll taste like, I'll put them in here. If I if I'm just sort of guessing what they taste like, I'll put them in here. Gloom, um, I wouldn't eat you because I don't know what's coming out of your mouth, but you are a you're a smelly plant as well, aren't you? In you go, in you go, champ. Bio plumes and mushroom, you do get. You don't have any uh any heckin' goo coming off of you. I'd put you here next to Stinky Plum. R Gloom's drool does get used in cosmetics. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I would eat the mushrooms off of Parasect, but in terms of like this, where it's a literal Last of Us situation, I'm probably gonna pass. Not enough to put you in D tier to never eat, but I'd give it, a, I, like if it was freshly prepared, I'd give it a go. Immediate uh, D tier, not even interested. Diglett, what the fuck does a Diglett taste like? You know what? I'm gonna consider that you taste like raisins. I'd, I'd chow down on a Diglett, and I'd chow down on a Dugtrio, too. I like mushrooms more than I like honey, I gotta admit. Bioplume is not based on a mushroom, it's based on a real-life plant that smells like rotten meat called a vile plume. I don't know. I'm just gonna put you down there. <laughs> is there an F tier? No, so uh, D tier is like my F tier. The way I've got it is that D tier I would never even remotely eat. S tier is like I would eat every day if I could. A tier is like stuff that I would... I got a rough idea what it tastes like, and I would eat it. 
B is like, I've got no idea what it tastes like, but I'm willing to try. C is like, it's not, it's not a nether, but it's definitely not my first choice. Paris and Paris are the same Pokemon, just with grown mushroom. No, 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 no. So for, so this, this is a mushroom that's been overtaken by a fucking Paris, parasite, basically. But Paris has mushrooms on its back that you can pluck off. You know, there's a massive difference. Uh, I wouldn't eat a cat. I'd eat the fuck out of duck though. I think side up might actually go top of A tier. Actually, I think you'd go S tier. <laughs> I'd eat I'd eat Psyduck. Absolutely. Golduck a little less. Uh, but you are going in A tier. I'd eat you more than I'd eat snake. I'd eat you more than I eat a turtle, in all honesty. Like duck and eggs? Let's go. These are literally monkeys. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with no. I wouldn't eat either of these. Actually, this one. This guy would fist me. I'd eat, I'd eat, eat, I'd eat a monkey before I'd eat a bat. God, I'd eat a monkey before a lot of this. I think Nido King might be too high. Uh, I'd eat a bird before I'd eat any of those. And I think cat, cat and bat are around the same sort of area. I think. I refuse to eat my puppy. I refuse. I'm sorry. It probably taste like Growlithe looks like it would taste good, but I refuse. I refuse. The mushroom is the parasite. No, I know, I know that, but like you can pluck it off of this. Like at this point, it's too far gone. You know what I mean? Like this doesn't look like it would just, you know, plop off without like a spinal column attached to it. I'd eat, this is a tadpole, right? I'd put you there. I'd put Poliwhirl about there. I'd probably put Poliwhirl above Poliwag. Yeah? Yeah, I'd probably do that. I'd be down to give it a go. Polyrath a lot less, I gotta admit. He is meatier than a lot of them. That's what I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause like even even if the even if the mushrooms are parasitic, I feel like if if we're, if we're talking strictly in Pokemon world, right? I feel like if you prepare the mushrooms correctly, it's fine. Cause like there's always like mushroom maniacs in in these Pokemon games, so like they're not harmful to touch or anything. You know, maybe they're just like you know affecting only these sort of little crab insect things uh based on the spoons comment alone i'll put i'll put um i'll put alakazam in s tier the other the other two though are going straight into c tier i don't want to eat anything with intelligence or at least uh any i don't i feel like you shouldn't be eating things that have a higher iq than you but actually i'll put you in i'll put you in these t these um i mean you're literally just a man i'm afraid I feel like that would be cannibalism. You know, I feel like Machamp has to go down here, um, in all honesty. God, this is an interesting line. I think I'd eat Weeping Bell before anything else. Yeah, I'd put you in A. I feel like that would be interesting. And then I think Victory Bell goes in C. I think I'd put them before the birds, before the bird and the rat, you know. I'd rather eat a plant than that. And I think I'd rather have like spicy meat over, over the plant. But I think Bellsprout goes in the middle ground here. I'd rather eat a Bellsprout than an Ivysaur, but I'm not sure if I'd eat a Bellsprout before Turtle Soup. Calamari, I'd actually eat a Tentacruel. I feel like I would. I'd give it a go. Um, I'd eat it before the honey from Beedrill or after the honey from Beedrill. I think Tentacruel might have more meat on it. So I'd put you there. Water Turtle would be a uh, Holy Turtle Soup. You reckon? I think Squirtle would taste better. Um, you're literally eating rocks. Um, absolutely fucking not. <laughs> absolutely fucking not. I'd rather eat a rock than a human, to be fair. Do you do that put higher because it's used as a cooking utensil? Yeah, but it's the edibility of Pokemon, not how useful it is in the kitchen. If we're doing it on that fact, Alakazam shouldn't really be up here. How's Alakazam edible? Because apparently in his Pokedex entry, if he likes, if he loves you, he'll give you a spoon. But I was just, I, I literally just said that if, uh, if it's based on edible, Alakazam has to go down. I'd put you here. They're all kind of on the human line then realistically now here's the question chat would i rather eat someone who's smart or eat someone who's dumb i feel like alec is i feel like this line is more edible just due to the fact that they've got utensils and they can hold a conversation i feel like if you were to eat machamp like you just wouldn't have like the social enjoyment of it not to sound cannibalistic or anything oh fucking far-fetched sorry you literally are a duck with a leak hold up you are you are you are literally pre-prepped as half a meal already oh god this is gonna be controversial would i eat horse would i eat horse um if it's on fire does that mean it's flame grilled horse fuck i'd be too curious i'm too curious now i think i'd have to put you next to lizard i'd rather eat rapid ash than ponyta i think nidoran's a little bit too high i think i put nidoran about where the shrew is in germany horse is used for some delicacy salami actually really is that like a common thing we had a, uh I, th I think most people know about the um the horse meat scandal in the uk i'm of the opinion 
that if you're going to sell a horse meat, just sell horse meat. You don't don't disguise it as other things. You know what I mean? Because what like the thing I the thing I would absolutely hate is eating something that I think is something, but it's something else. You know, I don't I don't like that at all. That just feels like a betrayal. I think the fuck out of slowpoke. Um, 100%. I think you go an S tier. Apparently, Slowpoke tail tastes nice. I'd be too curious. I'd be too curious. Apparently, it's a delicacy. I wouldn't want to eat Slowbro, though. I feel like Slowbro's already getting eaten, and I feel like that would just be kind of rude. I'd probably put you here with the rest of the pink Pokemon, though. Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably put you there. Literally eating magnets. Um, would I rather eat magnets or rocks, though? I think I'd rather eat rocks. Yeah, because if you eat too many magnets, they'll get stuck inside you. Like, remember, if anyone remembers those, like, little fidget toys that are, like, two magnets that, like, click together, it'd just be eating those. So I'd rather, I'd rather eat rocks. God, this, this bottom section of here is, like, really weird. You've got bats, cats, dogs, rocks, magnets, smart men, dumb men. <laughs> <laughs> Like the bottom, the bottom of D tier is wild. <laughs> Doduo, it's a bird with two heads. Yeah, I'd eat it. I'd eat it. I think it goes in A tier. I feel like it's a literal chicken. I'd rather eat Doduo than Pidgey. I feel like, um, yeah, I'd go, I'd go A tier. I think the same with Doduo, uh, Dodrio as well. Like, cause the body is still the same. I wouldn't want the heads or anything, and I wouldn't want like chicken feet. You know what I mean? These are based off of uh, uh, ostriches, right? Like eggs, you got. Me, yeah, I'd put, I'd put them there. I'd probably put them above the mystery diglets, the mystery nubbins. I think I'd rather have calamari over, over bird though. I was a rat more edible than a Pidgey? They're both rats of different elements. Well, that's why they're together. That's why they're together. Cause like you've got the sky rat and then you've got the land rat. You got both there. But on the other, on the other end, uh, where is it? You got plump rat. Which I think I think plump rat is better than skinnier rat, and then you got plump bird, which I think is better than rat. I think pigeon would taste better than rat. Oh, the D tier birds. Hold up. Oh right, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Uh, this is bird. You got bird. These are based off of monkeys. I'd rather eat a bird than a monkey. They're pig monkeys. They're pig monkeys. Oh, I guess they've got the nose there. All right, here's here's a fucking ethics question are they more pig or are they more monkey what do you guys reckon because i think they look more monkey like i've never like the nose i get but i've never really seen these two as a pig i will fix this up though because i think i'd rather eat primate than monkey <laughs> can primates find truffles can they find truffles if they can find truffles then they're going then they're going higher speaking of which i'd rather eat cadabra than abra i think i'd put the final evos of the bugs together down here I feel like I could get away with eating one of these because, like, they are edible, but I wouldn't want to. You know what I mean? I don't want to eat bugs. We'll come back to the primates. <laughs> if this was Oinkaloin, there'd be no question in S tier. There'd be no question about it going in S tier. Would I eat a seal? I feel like I'd try a sea puppy. I don't know if that's a thing that people will eat now. I don't think I'd try it with the same gusto as ostrich and, like, eel, though. I think I'd put it... God, there's, like, the top of B tier is literally all chunky Pokemon. I'd rather eat dugong than a uh, seal, though. I think, I think I'm happy with that way around. In fact, actually, I think I'd put that, that there. Uh, actually, I think I'd put that there. But, like, th this entire top row is all like just chunky pokemon that i think would make like a nice like bit of meat like nido queen is up here because she's on the chunkier side and i feel like that would be tasty maybe i'm weird come um i'm gonna go with s tier um i think you all should too no this is literally this is literally sewage would i rather eat rocks and magnets over sewage i think i'd rather be a cannibal than eat like sewage i don't know if that says a lot about me but i think i'd rather because in my logic at least a human like you can clean a human before you eat it right but like there's no cleaning sewage like you're just you're just literally in the sewers just chowing down these are these are shellfish right this is immediate A tier. I like fish. I think I'd rather have shellfish over calamari. Need a queen's like a puffer fish. Need to prepare it right since it's a poison type. Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree with that. That's the same with uh, Nidoran as well. I feel like this list is shaping up so far. I'm actually pretty okay with this. Oh, what do I what do I do about ghost type Pokemon? What does a ghost taste like? Poison? Yeah, I mean, it's D tier. Like, these three are D tier, obviously. It's just where in D tier do they go? I think logically, it would have to go here. Like, human is down here on a moral standpoint. But if we're being really technical about it, I feel like human would taste better than, like literal poison and i think these ghosts would taste better than sewage if it just tastes like death 
then I'd rather taste like death than taste like shame as well. I think I'll probably taste a bit uh, less like poison and more like pure chaotic neutral energy. What, but what does that taste like? Again, D is just inedible in general, so don't pass over it. But I like, I like, I like, I like organizing it into the order of which I would eat them. You know, that's what's fun for me about tier lists. Anal beads. I mean, you're going literally right next to the golem stuff, right? I'd rather eat onyx. I mean, you're just bigger rocks, so no. Oh, tapirs. I think you're too human-like, so I think you go in the, uh... Oh, God, yeah, you're like an offender. Yeah, I'd put you there. I'd rather eat a smart person than I'd rather eat an offender as opposed to a, uh... A regular human. A tapir, though. A tapir, I'd put, um... Somewhere up here, I think. I feel like tapirs are just chunky... They're just chunky mammals, right? But I guess we put them up in the... Up, up in B tier. You know what? Actually, no. I'm gonna put you in A tier. I'd put you here. I'd rather... I think I'd rather eat them over diglets. In fact, I think I've got diglets too high. I think I'm gonna put the diglets... Uh, before here. I think that's... I think that's right. Because I'd rather eat chunk. I... Dig diglets too much of a mystery. And I think I'd rather eat them over horse. Oh, I'd 100% scran crabby. 100%. I might even put that S tier. Like, I like crab. I like crab a lot. Kingless just meteor crabby. I like I like seafood. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, oh god. What do I, uh, oh. Controversial take. I think Electrode looks an awful lot like one of those, um... Do, do any of you know what Mawams are? There's like these brand of sweets that are like mawam balls electrode looks like those i'm gonna put i'm gonna put the two th these two here because i feel like they're just like zingy zingy sweets you know what i mean that is a bomb yeah but like you know you could say like spicy food is a bomb uh executor you're literally a coconut tree but for eggs so absolutely plant one in the backyard and i'll scram you i'm gonna put you here no, I'll put you here because I think it's kind of weird to have an egg tree. That'd just be kind of odd. Imagine explaining that. Like, oh, don't worry. I'm just growing eggs in my back garden. Don't worry about it. Infinite S tier generator. Exactly. Exactly. If it's on edibility, then I'd have this as a plant rather than eat it. You know what I mean? I'd eat what comes off of it. But like, I'm here to scram the execute that come off of this tree. You know? I just woke up, so my eyes don't want to work. Just, yeah, yikers. It's okay. I'll give you a good smack in the face. Wapow. Um, oh god. Do I oh Jesus. Do I be really mean and say I'd eat Cubone's mother and then leave Cubone at D tier? <laughs> Do I be evil? What does a marowak taste like? I mean marowak has meat on it. It has bones as well, so you could make a good marowak soup, I guess. I'd rather eat this over Weeping Bell. I'd rather eat this over Drowsy. I don't think I, I don't think I could put it higher. I'd rather have ostrich than whatever mystery meat Marowak is. I can't put it higher just due to the mystery factor of it. You bone, you're a child. Um, but I feel bad about leaving you down there. Yeah, I mean, you both of you would literally make a good soup. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, yes, the duality of combat. Yeah, I'd put you both in the same vein as down here. God, I think the other men are just chunkier, right? I think I think I'd rather have Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee though. But I think I'd rather have these. Three. Like in terms of like human eating, I feel like you know what I'm I'm gonna stop there before I get put on the list. Lick a tongue! I don't like the idea of eating tongue, I gotta admit. Like you know how like there are some recipes with like oxtail tongue and like stuff like that? I'm not that interested. It depends if like the entire stomach of Licky Tongue is just its tongue, because the tongue's gotta go somewhere when it closes its mouth. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I'd put you there. Also, by the way, lick a tongue. Lickitung, uh, Quagsire's design is just based off of Lickitung. Tell me I'm wrong. Like, put the tongue away, close the mouth, you've got a Quagsire. I'm just saying. Ooh, lungs? Oh, I'm here to eat some lung. Uh, organs. Where would organs go? Where would failing organs go, actually? I feel like failing organs go around here. Like, this is healthy human, and then you've got unhealthy human. Th these are rocks, but I'm going to assume that this is a rhino. Would I eat a rhino? Probably. I think I'd put you... Just under Nido Queen though. I don't think I'd eat this one though. This one's too. I think I put you about here. You're more rock than a uh, rhino. Chansey egg as its produce. See big or honey. Chansey with its move softball should be S tier. We'll get to we'll get to that in a mo. Don't worry. Oh, we're here to win now. <laughs> S tier. This is uh, of the same vein as like Executor. They both produce eggs. In fact, actually, you're probably. Oh God, what's weirder to have, chat? A plant that grows eggs or a midwife that gives you an egg every day? What's weirder to have in your house? Probably the tree. <laughs> this is so, this is so cursed. Tangela, you're literally 
noodles. Um, actually, I think I put you here. Noodles over onions, I think. I don't want to, I don't want to put you in S tier because like, I want to know what's like hidden in beneath all of these noodles. Uh, Kangaskhan is literally based off of a kangaroo. Um, it's a kangaroo and a milf, but it's going in A tier. I'd eat kangaroo before ostrich. I wouldn't eat it over calamari though. If you put in any water in D tier, you and I are gonna have problems. There's not a single water type in D tier. Let's go. For those just joining us, we are currently doing a Pokemon tier list as of, as of the request of Panda on Gen 1 Pokemon's edibility. Edibility, yep. <laughs> what Gen 1 Pokemon would you scran? Oh, we've got a whole bunch of the water types coming up. Yay. <laughs> uh, Seahorse. Um, I've heard sea, sea, uh, seahorse is a delicacy. I can't say I'm too thrilled about it. There's no meat on a seahorse? No, you're, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. It's definitely not A tier. It'd also just be weird, right? Because I, I'm imagining like fried seahorse on a stick. That's what I'm imagining. But it's not a pleasant image. You know what I mean? You know, like a, a takoyaki? That's what I'm imagining this prep as. I think I'd put you in C tier. I think I would rather have turtle soup. I think I'd rather have frog. I think I'd rather have Lizard. I'd put it in the same vein as Fox, I guess. Fox is an odd one. This is like Spicy Fox right here. I think I put you in the same vein as the rat, and I think I put you about here. Because you're just a little bit like chunkier. You look a bit more meaty than Cedra. I... Oh, Tauros is right here. Sorry, you're going instantly S tier. Um, I'd uh fucking Tauros beef. I'd rather have the duck though. I think I put you in there. Goldine's a literal fish. So it's B tier immediately. This is based off the koi fish, right? A koi fish edible? This breaks my heart talking about eating it. It's the tier list, all right? It's not... Listen, I'm sorry. It's just what the tier list demands of me. Be a normal person and do it on fuckability. What, what is more awkward for people? Me rating these on fucking potential or eating potential? I feel like eating's normal. More normal, right? I think I'd rather have Seeking over Goldeen, by the way, because Seeking, again, is meatier. Um, I'd rather eat a Koi fish than a seal. I still think these... I'd, I'd be more interested in eating Tadpole. What, Starfish? I'm sorry, I'm not interested in... Um, not interested in Starfish. Are you taking into account sizes? Yes, absolutely. Uh, that's why Seeking is better than Goldeen, I think. Oh, he's pretty beat, so he lost me on that. Yeah, true. Actually, yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, the starfish. Uh, I don't see myself eating starfish, I gotta admit. I mean, it's more edible than the stuff in D tier, but I would put it at the bottom of, um, the bottom of C tier. I'd rather eat the mushroom off of the back of the parasect than, uh, the star me and star you. Uh, wait, did you say Sea King's 1.6 feet? How, how big is Goldeen, out of curiosity? Because if this is bigger, then this goes here. Eat the star, then, 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 nah. This isn't, this isn't Super Mario. I don't get a power-up for doing that, Cappy. I can give you some cool facts about starfishes. Oh, please do. Oh, Mr. Mime. All right, you're going in the human section of D tier. Whereabouts, though? Would I eat a mime? They wouldn't scream, I guess. But these two, these lot provide me cutlery to do so. Would I eat a silent mime over an offender? Probably? Yeah. Yeah? This is a literal child, I've just realized. I think we'll put the child over here. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Goldie is four foot? Yeah, you're going there. I'd crunch that star, assert dominance. Misty would fear me. Imagine you just show up to Misty's gym and just like... Pokemon, go, nom. Question, why the fuck you want to eat a star over a burb? Top of D tier, looking tasty, not gonna lie. The, these birds are like super thin. Like, imagine a really bony burb. Like, I don't think, I don't think a bony burb would be good. Like, we've got like the chunkier birds higher up, but this is literally all bone. The starfish are really fucking weird. They can regenerate a single, from a single limb and all their organs run through their arms. They also taste with their feet, which are tiny little tubular feet with a suction cup on the end. Oh, fucking not me Googling fucking starmy wiki feet. Okay, but listen here, what if they're tasty? Gee, it's almost like we're making a tier list based on that entire premise. Well, Spiro, I can understand, right? Firo doesn't look like it would taste good. Look at that fucking neck, bro. Look at that neck. Scyther, you're literally a bug that could kill me. I think you're gonna have to go at the bottom here. I'd still rather eat like a Scyther than a bat. I think you have to be the bottom of the bugs, I'm afraid. Would I eat Nicki Minaj? Where does Nicki Minaj go in this tier list? It goes in the human tier. I think for clout, I think I'd, I think Jinx might be the one I'd eat the most out of all the humans right like, imagine the headline random twitch streamer eats Nicki minaj electabuzz this is more in the human category as well 
You'd eat Jinchu pervert? Yes, absolutely. I'd still rather eat a magnet than eat Nicki Minaj, but it's fine. I like that Buzz is meatier than a lot of these other people. It gets really weird when we talk about human looking Pokemon, because then it's just like, how much of a cannibal are you? My chop's a little literal child as well. We'll put you over here. I'd rather eat a like the buzz over the offender. And I think I'd rather eat it over there. I think I'd put you here. Why are humans less edible than rocks? It's more of like an ethics standpoint. Because the way I, the way I've done it is that you got skinny burb, you got monkey, you got whatever the fuck this is. You got bugs, bats, cats, dogs. Then I'd eat rocks, magnets. The humans are all organized. But then, like, you got fucking diseased lung, you've got literal spirits of death, and you've got sewage. I'd rather eat a rock than a human. Uh, this is flame grilled duck. This is going S tier. I'd put that there. Oh, God. It's a toss up. Oh, God. Do I want the duck with the leek prepared, or do I want the flame grilled duck? I'll put you there. Pinsa. Pinsa is going in bug tier. Um, I think this might be the scariest looking bug on the list. I would be too terrified to eat that. In all honesty, this might actually go further down in the list, but I think it's probably the worst looking bug. Uh, Magikarp is apparently very bony, but it is a fish, so I'd rather eat a bony fish than like a bony bird. But I think I'd rather try a starfish than a bony boy. Gyarados, I'm imagining this is just tasting like an eel. I feel like Gyarados is quite meaty, right? I'd be kind of scared to eat one though. I think I'd, I think I put Gyarados in the same vein as like the horse. Yeah, I think I, I think that's fine. The Lapras just looks edible. I'm sorry. I think I'd put it at the bottom of A tier, mainly due to the fact that I would love to eat the Loch Ness monster, just to see what it tastes like. What are humans but bipedal sheep? <gasps> it's a reference not to be taken seriously. No, no, it's okay. I'm I'm calling the uh, necessary authorities right now. How dare you? Well, this is interesting. Where do I put Ditto? I, I think we need to establish right now, can Ditto, can Ditto transform? Or is it literally just Ditto in base form? If it's just Ditto, then I think it goes either A or B because Ditto is a literal, like, like just, I could put a straw in Ditto and drink it. You could drink Grimer. I fucking hate that you've told me that actually. Shit, that's actually swayed my opinion a lot. Would Ditto taste like sewage? Uh, Ditto looks like it would taste like raspberry. Imagine having a full five course meal because of Ditto transforming into it. But no, no, it wouldn't be like that because Ditto would transform into a meal. And then like you'd eat some of it, it would transform back and like just a piece of it is missing. Okay, compromise. I think, I think it goes top of D tier. I think out of everything here, I feel like Ditto would taste the best. Ditto is best goo, but still goo. True, I'd rather drink Ditto than these two. Like this is almost like um Petri dish level of like clean. I would say it looks like synthetic food homegrown in a lab. A cautionary tale, but edible this is a pet i wouldn't eat a pet i think this would have to go in the same sort of vein as where did i put growlith and arcanine i'd feel more guilty about eating an eevee than i would a growlith i gotta admit these are a lot less like pets i think personally out of the three evolutions i think vaporeon looks the tastiest right vaporeon looks like you could stick it on a rotisserie i think i'd put vaporeon Vaporeon's like seafood, so I think I'd put it nearer like this turtle. Yeah, I think I'd put it there. You're too spiky, so you're gonna go into like the pet category over here. And I think you, I think you might have to go in like the sort of Firefox range over here. D tier is absolutely not eating, right? But C tier is like, I try, but I'm not too happy about it. You know, I feel like spicy, like fox, edible. And so it, so it sounds more appetizing than human man. Uh, <laughs> would I eat polygons? Sure, I would. This is like a polygon duck. So this is like a this is like an animated duck. And I feel like you can make an animated duck taste better. Let's put the ducks all in the, all in the corner here. Right, Google. What do polygons taste like? Some people with a rare neurological condition known as synesthesia can taste shapes or smell color. Can any of you taste shapes? Are any of you able to taste shapes? If you're doing this for Gen 1, when we're going to do them all. Oh, yeah. Well, well I, I'm happy to continue on uh, doing them all. But we've, uh, we're obviously going to have to split them up into Gens, I think. Because it's taken about an hour to get through uh, Gen 1. Because I take this seriously. More seriously than I fucking should. Uh, <laughs> Polygon looks like it would taste like wood. I think that's more of like how it's drawn than anything. Would I eat these two? Looking at Omastar, the wiggles is what's putting me off. Uh, it's 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 gelatinous nature is putting me off. It's it's in C tier. I think I'd rather try Magic Carp over these two. You're all literally a face, so I'd put you at bottom of D tier. Yeah, awkward fish. 
literal skull um you actually look a bit more edible though i think you're gonna you're gonna go into the same sort of line as shelter you know it's another like crustacean seafood you know what i mean just more calamari you, you put fucking jelly boy uh jelly squid boy in sgs uh, he's doing an a i like calamari but not enough on the same league as like duck and crab and like eggs oh my god Zara, i want to shout at you uh like your logic is squonk how is my logic squonk how is it squonk I would rather eat a duck, eggs, and crab over tentacles. What do you mean, Han? What do you mean? Like, I'd like to try snake. I like noodles, onion, another duck, turtle. Then a jellyfish is 90% water. Jellyfish? Who's the jellyfish here? This is squid. Tentacle, a jellyfish Pokemon. 99% of its body is made up of water. Fucking Bulbapedia jellyfish. Bulbapedia is wrong. Bulbapedia is just straight up wrong. This is not a jellyfish. Have you seen a? Je this is more. This is more squid than it is than it is a uh, jellyfish. If it is a, if it is a jellyfish, it's a jellyfish with fucking scrumptious looking tentacles. All right, give them to me. Did you really just ask me, someone who works with fish, if I've seen a jellyfish? Have you seen? Had a, you know what? I don't even think you like fish that much. I think you're a poser. Uh, this goes in the same vein as Scyther, 100%. I think I'd rather eat this more because it is a fish, I think. I have a lot to say about who you put in D tier. Oh, hit me. Hit me with it. What do you think? Would I eat a pterodactyl? Probably not. Probably not. I'd try it over bugs, but I don't think I'd try it over the plants, I think. Persian Abra Haunter? Yeah, what about them? What would be? Oh, sorry. Neon, this entire tier list is based on edibility, whether or not you'd eat these Pokemon or not. Snorlax, I'd definitely eat. I think Snorlax is a big chunky boy. I would, uh, I would eat him. I think I'd put Snorlax top of A, uh, top of B tier. Like, cause all these Pokemon are like chunky and like have a lot of meat to them. I feel like Snorlax is like just the epitome of that. You telling me you wouldn't eat Jinx? Listen, I'd eat Jinx. She's the, she's the most human of the Pokemon that I would eat, right? She's top tier human that I would eat, but still human. I would rather eat magnets and rock before I ate a human. Gosh, Articuno, Zapdos and Moltres. Zapdos is going to go in the same sort of line as Jolteon. I already know that. In fact, probably even more because it's more spiky. Flame Grilled Bird though, that is definitely going higher up. I think this might have to go into A tier and I think it might have to go... I think this is about as high as I can go because it is a skinny bird, but it is a flame grilled bird, which I wouldn't hate. But I'd still rather try Snake over it. Articuno is a cold-ass bitch. But it is a bird, so it does get higher up. Where did I put Pidgey in Pidgeot? Probably around here. Yeah, I'd put you in B. Because you're a, you're a skinnier bird, but you're also colder. So I'm just kind of like, nah. What's more important than Zal's stream? You know what? Cappy's got a point, chat. Cappy's got a point. What is more important than my stream? God. Mental health? Sleep? Taking care of yourself? Cringe. I'd suck Dratini and Dragonair up like a noodle. Well, that's something i read today uh yeah it's put it to be to be perfectly honest it does kind of it would probably go in the same vein as like the snakes here i think i'd rather have ekans than dratini and i think i'd rather have dragonair over ekans because i think there's just more of dragonair the silence was deafening that no, was just it was just pure pure judgment but i can't i can't judge you too harshly because i agree i think dragonite might have to go here it's a chunky dragon what does dragon what do you reckon dragon would taste like chat i feel like i would put you here like crocodile one of the more exotic meats, I guess. I'd rather have kangaroo. I'd rather have ostrich. I think because that this is a mystery meat, I feel like this has to go here. Because, like, all of A tier is, like, a confirmed meat. Except for these two. These are, like, mystery meat, but you can make, like, good soup with the bones and shit. I mean, I guess technically you could do that with any Pokemon, unless they're all boneless. I mean, to be perfectly honest, Wigglytuff looks boneless. I don't think I'd eat either of these. I definitely wouldn't eat Mewtwo. I think Mewtwo... Is more human-like than everything else. Would I eat it over Nicki Minaj? Probably not. Um, it would probably go into the smart human category, so I'd probably put it about here. But I'd rather eat a mime than a Mewtwo. Yeah, honestly. The fucking gloves are putting me off. No, I think I'd rather eat Mewtwo. <laughs> the gloves are putting me off. And lastly, Mew. We're, we're finally there, chat. An hour and a half into the stream. We've gotten a tier list done. Are you guys proud? Mew's literally just a psychic cat, so I think I might put you over here. I'd put you there. I'd rather eat a Mew than a Growlithe. Alrighty, guys. That is my tier list on edibility for Pokemon. If you want to do this yourself, there you go. There's the heckin' tier list. Is there anything I, is there anything I would change here? 
Probably not. I feel like I was pretty thorough along my way. I think Nido King might be a bit too high. I think I'd put you probably here. God, I'd actually, I actually think Jigglypuff goes further. I think Jigglypuff goes into detail. I don't want to eat a skull. In fact, actually, I think I'd, I think I'd rather... If I had the choice, I'd rather eat a skull than a full human. Or would I? Actually, I don't think I fucking would. I'd rather eat a skull than a child. There you go. Um, Do eggs deserve to be top tier, though? I think the duck has to be. I'd like to eat po polygons, but not that high. I think Tauros goes up, and I think eggs stay there. Oregon looks crunchy like rock candy. It, it looks tasty. It looks like a tasty duck. There you go. There you go, chat. That was a fun tier list. That was a fun tier list. If you want to show off your tier list, feel free to put them in the Discord. If you do exclamation mark socials, you can find the Discord and be a little bit.